Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for February 25th, 26th, and 27th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, you know that this is my weekend reading. I am going to be using my Radley Valentine cards. This is my Angel Tarot card. This will be for the main message. I will also pull one from John Holland's Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. I will pull one at the end from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Um, this is just the introduction, so please know that this will be on all the videos. I will put a timestamp where you can jump past and, you know, just go directly to your, you know, your sign. Okay. Now, for the introduction, I am going to be using my Rider Wake Tarot and my Osha Zen Tarot cards. Now, remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Well, I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job does deliver the message. We have had some interesting times. Remember that Pluto thing with Capricorn. So things have heated up quite a bit. We can see that happening in the world. But at the same time, um, we do have, and cards are flipping, we do have Venus and Mars in Capricorn also. And it came to me this morning that they were a lot like, you know, in the, I, what was it, in the late 20s, early 30s? In the 30s, 1930s. They're a lot like um, Bonnie and Clyde. And Bonnie and Clyde was a folk hero in to many, many people. But at the same time, Bonnie and Clyde did their own thing. So, you know, it, it's just, you know, they, they didn't necessarily do everything the right way. In fact, they were kind of mean in many ways, and they were criminals in many ways, and at the same time, the public loved them. So, who's to say? Let's see what we have. Now, the last time for the week, we did have that good old tower card, and we've had some really interesting energies happening. Let's see what we've got for the weekend. Right off the bat, we do have the, um, this. these three cards fell plus this fourth one. This one fell up. This is a seven. Seven is a good, is a divine number, divine um, intervention, divine um, interference. This is cup energy. Cup energy is our Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Things are going on with Scorpio right now, but this has choices. We this is going to be a week of choices, and we have you know some that are very positive choices, some that look on the negative side, some that are unknown choices. So we, do, we will have choices here, and um, let's see what the other cards have to say. Remember, anything reversed is stronger energy. Next card is the Eight of Wands. So eight, unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities. Wands, rods is our fire energy. It is our Aries, our Leo, our Sagittarius, passionate, burning, determined. This has a lot of busy energy. This has so much energy going on. You don't know if you're coming or going. You don't know if you're the ones throwing the rods. You don't know if you're the ones that are on the receiving side of the rods. So this just has, it has major, major fire energy moving on with this. So let's go on next card. The six of cups. We've talked about what cups is. Six has uh, is the number of man, man. Um, the energies we put to something, how we, what we have made. This is looking back at an easier time. This is looking back at a time where we felt happier, maybe where we felt safer, more secure. The thing is, though, the Six of Cups is also romanticizing that past, romanticizing that, you know, remember Saturn and Aquarius, romanticizing that illusion, okay? So part of it is we might want a happier time or a more peaceful time, the eight of um, ro uh, rods or wands is kind of like, nah, ain't going to happen. But, um, you know, this is a time where we go, oh, if only, remember when, remember when. Well, I've been alive for 65 years. I remember the 50s. I remember the 60s. I remember the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, all the way up. And I know that each decade has had its own share of, I don't know, what do you want to say, fear? Fear. Let's go on our next card, our five of swords. So swords is our air energy. It is our, Le it is our I'm sorry, Aquarius, our Gemini. It is also our Libra energy thought processes. Um, it has some changes in our thought processes at the same time because five is about change, positive, negative. Um, it just change is change. 
This one, again, I told you Aquarius, Gemini, and our Libra, it's thought processes. It's also hearing news. I think we had either the Five of Swords or the Seven of Swords in our last overview, our introduction. I don't remember that per se. But this is always Sneaky Snake. The Seven of Swords has the same Sneaky Snake energy. But this to me has, you know, this is kind of, this guy is about to take all the swords. But he, uh, he does leave some for the two. He leaves one each. Um, but we don't know if there's more people in the horizon or not. So there's a lot of Sneaky Snake energy here. Again, this is about... Um, you know, this is about choices. There are choices to be made, choices to be had. And some of them are very um, powerful and positive. Some of them are still powerful, but not necessarily positive. They're negative. Okay, so it's going to be an interesting weekend and in where we go with this. Now, let's see what we have with our Osha Zen Tarot. I look at these more as our um, advice cards. Okay, these are more of our, oops, and there's a card that just flew, ooh, flew away. The only card that we did not have, so we had our cups, we had our air, we had our, our swords, we had our wands, so we had our water energy, we had our um, air energy, we had our fire energy. The only energy we did not have was pentacles, which is our earth energy, which is what Capricorn is. Capricorn is an earth energy. Um, and it's also uh, Virgo and Taurus. It is your money, job, career. A, li a lot of cor Capricorn has a lot of corporate type of energy to it, business type of energy. Okay, so let's go on. Let's see what this last one is. Maybe words of advice. Okay, so here we go. Um, so we have this card, fighting. We have the armor on. We have the you know, I don't know who is, I don't know if this is who we're fighting or if this is us fighting. Um, there is a struggle going on. There is, you know, there is something, there is some sort of a struggle going on. We can go and look back to this. We do have choices where we're going to, what we're going to do with that struggle. We do have to watch out for Sneaky, cha sneaky Snake who wants to try to bring some changes. Um, you know, I don't know, positive, negative, um, but, the, you know, we're going to start off with the rods, the wands, a lot of activity going on this weekend, and we do have the struggle, okay? Okay. Anyway, let's go on. I will, oh, remember, please, to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. Thank you all for letting me know that you are hearing my videos. I really appreciated that, um, you know, so I really feel much better about that. Um, but at the same time, again, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell. Let's get the videos out there. I really appreciate you also. We do get through this. We do get through this. Each day we get through this. And no matter what is going on in that universe or in this world, we still have to live our lives. So we want to live our lives with honor. And, you know, many times when I say stay shining, we want to be that bright light for others. Okay? Okay. So let's start our videos now. Hello, my Pisces, and happy birthday to you. Well, you are bringing in a, quite a bang with, as we close up that astrological year. So let's see what the weekend is going to be for you. Oh, card is falling out already. I did talk about what the um, signs, what the energies were all about in the introduction. Let's see what we've got going now. And you know, when cards fly out, they want, okay, you want to be seen too? Okay. Let's go on and shuffle, not shuffle, we're going to cut. These two are reversed. Let's see what we've got here. First card is the Page of Water. Oh, the Page is wonderful energy. The Page of Water is even better energy. Water, again, your sign, Cancer and Scorpio. Pages, underlying energy, because all the court cards have an underlying energy. Pages are your is Earth energy, so we got that Capricorn stuff going on, your work, um, your, this is also Taurus and Virgo, so it's your work, job, career. The thing about the page is the page wants to jump in and get started. So there's a lot of things that maybe you've been put, putting off. Maybe you have been waiting for that right time. I'll tell you, except when Mercury's retrograde, that might not be the best time, but this is the right time. This is the right time for you to start pushing forward, for you to get your feet wet. Now, this could also be the right time for you to start a certain type of relationship. Now, I know 
we had um, you know Valentine's Day a couple of weeks ago but this could be a time for you to really straighten out some relationships some romantic relationships some personal relationships this could be a time for you to really solidify and consolidate your relationships okay I'm kind of getting that joining together I'm kind of getting that let's work let's be a team now it now that maybe doesn't sound as romantic but if you can work together you can also love together okay and so part of it is getting that foundational energy moving and foundational structure built anyway intuitive sensitive artistic and friendly a new person enters your life a relationship begins a new phase heightened psychic abilities trust your gut trust your gut next card the knight of earth so now the knight's underlying energy is fire this is earth fire is of course leo sagittarius aries earth is again capricorn taurus and virgo so there is all of that capricorn energy now remember uranus is in taurus so there's like all this kind of you know it's like what do i do with it all what am i to do with it all there's just so much well the night's very directional the nights are just kind of like no matter what the noise is going on around you get to work just get started don't look you know don't be distracted Focus on what it is you need to focus on, what it is you want to accomplish, what it is your goal is, what you see your dream is, as being, okay? So the night of earth, again, is focus on what it is you need to focus and get started. The time is now right. Loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments, a guardian angel. Next card reversed. Eight of fire. Again, eights were in the introduction. Fire energy, again, Leo Sagittarius Aries. Busy time. Things are moving so much. Now, remember, I told you the knights want to focus on what they need to get done, but there's all these distractions going on around them that it takes the focus. You know, it, it's going to be, it's going to take a lot of energy and a lot of discipline for you to focus on what needs to be done because it's kind of like that squirrel or that oh look bird type of energy you need to focus on what needs to be done and you can get it done it does have something to do with a relationship now i feel like this is a very personal very strongly connected relationship but that could also be your work because many people are very focused on their work it could also be your home it does feel extremely personal to me but the eight of fire is busy, busy, busy. Events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things happening at once. So you've got, so, you've got a busy weekend, but you need to kind of like, you need to, um, I don't know, you, you need to really tune out, tune out the um, extra noise. You need to tune out what doesn't, um, you know, what doesn't work for you, okay? Or what's, what's keeping you off task. How's that? But this, this is the one that I really am very interested in, that page of water, that new, that re, either a restart of a relationship, a restart of a, of a sense of this is what I want type of energy. So between the page and the night, but then we got that eight of fire, busy, things, things are like squirrel, it's squirrel, you know, oh, squirrel, let's go over there. No, you've got to stay focused. Here we go you know look for the goal now this is our john holland psychic tarot and oracle cards third eye chakra so we have an eight we have a six i think i talked about the six in the introduction third eye chakra chakras are energy sources now there are basically main seven main ones that people talk about there's more than that but these are the seven main ones again i look at the um the heart to the base is kind of your natural the heart, again, to your crown is more of your supernatural. Your third eye right over around in here, your pineal gland, pineal gland. Uh, you know, you want to make sure that that is very clear. Um, a lot of things to do is there's, there's, there's different ways. And if you go online, you can see how to, you know, decalcify your uh, pineal gland. However, the fact that this is showing here means that your, um, your psychic energy, your psychic abilities, your gut checks, are going to be working that much stronger listen to your gut listen to your gut because that will help keep you focused it will help keep you away from all the noise 
or it will help to, I don't know, I shouldn't say away from it because the noise, all this aid of fire surrounds you, but it'll keep you, um, you know, it'll keep your path true. How's that? Yes. Okay, let's see what crystal or energy for my Pisces we have here. Here we go. Okay. Reversed. Green Jade. Green also is for money and health. Attracting love, balance, dreams come true, purity. I do not have that. I don't have green jade, but that's okay. Anyway, interesting, keep focused, keep sharp. You know, that noise is going to try to keep you, is going to try to, um, you know, keep you off your path. Stay true to your path, okay? My Pisces, remember to like, share, subscribe, click on that bell for notifications. As always, my Pisces, Know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.